Well, hello, scientists. Um, here we are. I want to show you a couple chemical reactions. These are labs uh, that we would typically have done during class. So unfortunately, we're not in class together. So I want to show you some of these labs, um, what it would have looked like and kind of explain a few things with it uh, that will go along with the notes and chemical reactions and equations and balancing chemical reactions equations that we'll get into next week. So we have a couple substances here. We have uh, acetic acid and sodium bicarbonate and those sound like some really fancy names but basically it's just the science name for vinegar and the super sciencey name for baking soda so one of the things that shows a chemical reaction is like some bubbling um, gas formed fizzing so let me grab a little graduated cylinder here if i were to put some of this sodium bicarbonate into the graduated cylinder, like so. Can then take some of your acetic acid and pour in like so, and you get this bubbling, fizzing, probably a little bit more of the reaction can still happen, up over the top, and you get yourself a little bit of a, a mess. Um, another way to look at this, to show the gas being formed besides just the bubbles to the side. I have my coffee here on the hot plate staying warm. Is um, It's called an airbag lab is what we, we talked about typically during a semester. And an airbag in your car goes off because of a, a really fast chemical reaction and it puts off an enormous amount of gas in a quick amount of time. But we're going to do something on a smaller scale not as fast and not the same kind of dangerous chemicals that they put into your airbags. I'm going to put, uh, how do I want to do this? Let's, let's put the liquid, oof, eh. let's put the liquid in first. So I'm going to put some liquid into this Ziploc bag. And this is something you can do at home. And I don't want this chemical reaction to happen yet. So I'm going to fold the Ziploc bag in half like so. And see, this is usually a two-person job here, uh, but I'm going to do my best to make this work by myself. All right, so we have this separated in half, and I am going to take some baking soda like so. We use exact amounts in class, but uh, we're just kind of showing what goes on here. I'm going to try and get a majority of the air out of here. I'm going to seal up the zip of the zip -a lock Maybe. There we go. Air is out. And then I'm going to mix that together, double check in the seal as it goes. Oops, lost my thermometer there. And you can see it just kind of starts to fill up on its own with gas. So we have a chemical reaction there. All right, scientists. Until I see you again.